Today, we take you around the town of Dundee. Situated in the center of northern KwaZulu-Natal, in a valley of the Biggersberg Mountains, Dundee has long connections with coal mining and military conflict. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. If you haven't done this already, please subscribe and press the bell icon. That way you'll find out every time we bring you a new and exciting travel adventure video. The town's history began in 1855 when Peter Smith, a building contractor from Forfarshire near Dundee in Scotland, arrived in South Africa and settled on his 3,000 acre farm, which he named Dundee. There he discovered coal and started hauling wagon loads to Peter Maritzburg for sale. Smith's neighbor, E. Howe Pascoe, also began mining the coal fields, and the coal mining boom began. As people flocked to the area to begin mining the black gold, talk of establishing a settlement grew and the first geological survey of the coal fields was made in the 1860s and proved that there were workable coal deposits. After Pascoe died in 1875, his widow remarried her second husband, George Sutton, who had a township surveyed and planned on the coal fields farm in 1882. This he too called Dundee, and then sold his interests to Frederick Still, who developed the township. Smith was persuaded by his son, William Craighead Smith, and by Dougald MacPhail and Charles Wilson to establish a town. In 1882, 1,000 acres of Sutton's Dundee Farm were used together with additional donations of land from William Craighead Smith, Dougald MacPhail and Charles Wilson. The new township was called Dundee Proper after Peter Smith's Scottish Dundee hometown was laid out. Both townships were proclaimed in 1882 and two years later, in 1884, the government established Dundee Extension. Dundee Coal and Estate Company were listed on the London Stock Exchange in 1899 by Peter Smith together with partners Dougald MacPhail and Charles Wilson. Powerful businessmen invested funds in the small mining town, which grew so quickly and in such a way that it became known as Coalopolis and the capital of northern Natal. The influx of wealth and resources transformed the once quiet town into a bustling hub of industry, attracting workers from all over the region, seeking employment opportunities in the booming coal mining sector. The mining tycoons worked to give the town electricity, and the little coal town soon had many magnificent churches and other impressive buildings. 
Dundee's progress came to an abrupt halt during the Second Boer War in 1899, when British forces and Boers clashed nearby. The news of this conflict entered the media in Britain as the Battle of Glencoe, which was corrected to the Battle of Dundee on the third day. Following the conflict, British troops fled to Ladysmith, while Boer forces took control of Dundee and renamed it Meyersdorf. The occupation lasted seven months. The Battle of Helpmakar in May 1900 provided Dundee relief and the town began to thrive again. It quickly arose as a boom town, complete with majestic residences and the first theater north of Durban. The town's folk who had left before or shortly after the battle returned and the town began to flourish again. During the following decade, Dundee became the meeting point of seven paths into Africa's hinterland and coast, attracting pioneer traders from the Indian subcontinent. Gandhi opposed and led numerous marches and demonstrations. Perhaps the most well-known march was in 1913. Gandhi staged a protest assembly on the grounds of the Dundee Temple in 1913 as part of his anti-poll tax campaign. More than 3,000 persons attended this meeting. A party of 11 Indian ladies, including Gandhi's wife, risked arrest by crossing from Natal to the Transvaal without permission. Indian workers in the coal mines in Newcastle and Durna Coal staged a solidarity walkout. As the coal mine owners retaliated, Gandhi came to believe that he was accountable for the miners and their families. He was detained en route after deciding to walk the 2,037 men, 127 women and 57 children from the mines to the Tolstoy village. Today, Dundee is an excellent central base for visits to Rourke's Drift, Isandlwana, Fugitive's Drift, Blood River Encombe, Maria Ratchets, and a host of other interesting sites. The range of accommodations from backpackers to exclusive lodges caters for all. concentrating on military history, Zulu culture, game viewing, hunting, birding and fishing, horseback riding and white river rafting are all provided. It also includes Peter Smith's house and farmstead, one of the best glass collections in South Africa and many more attractions. Talana Museum. Established in 1982 is a large heritage park on approximately 40 acres of ground nestled outside of Dundee. Talana, the Zulu meaning the shelf where precious items are kept, is an appropriate name for the establishment. 
There are 42 buildings with exhibits dedicated to subjects as diverse as war and agriculture, mining, industry, and domestic life, including those from the traditional Zulu village of Kwakunje. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and entertaining. Please like, subscribe to and share our videos. Your support means the world to us and it allows us to continue creating valuable content for you.